The bottom is falling out of the housing market. The real estate bubble is about to pop and we are headed for another 2008. If you watch, read, or listen to the news, this is a common repeated theme. But is it true? Make sure to stick around where I debunk this myth and provide the actual data that shows a different picture. There was a recent article on Business Insider and Yahoo News titled, Buckle in for a brutal freefall in home prices and U.S. housing is in a bubble, experts say. Well, let's dissect this, but before we do, just a heads up, as this is a big week for the housing and mortgage markets with a ton of data beginning to roll out today. In just a few minutes, I will reveal exactly what data is being released and how that will impact you or someone you know who may be looking to buy or sell a home. Welcome to Ask the Lender. This is your go-to channel for housing and mortgage market updates as well as little known secrets and strategies to building generational wealth and paying less money in taxes during retirement. Do us a favor and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and smash that bell right there to get notified when more video content is uploaded. The algorithm does love when you comment on or share this video, so please help us out and show us some love by doing so. According to this article, the mainstream news media is saying we should buckle in for a brutal freefall in home prices and the U.S. housing is in a massive bubble experts say. The article goes on to say that the alarm bell is already ringing for American homeowners as surging mortgage rates scare away buyers. And the slump in the U.S. housing market is only going to get worse, these experts say. The signs of stress have become blatant. Recent data showed that in September, existing home sales dropped 24%. The eight straight monthly decline, marking the longest slide since 2007. Home building starts slumped and the new home listings fell 22%. The article here is citing seven housing experts. And while they are names that you will certainly recognize as economists, I would not call them housing experts. Additionally, some are calling for a 10% decline, while others are calling for a 20% decline. Look, a 20% decline would be a doomsday-like scenario and something similar to what we saw in the 2008 housing bubble. From the peak of home prices in 2007 to the bottom in 2009, home prices declined by 20%. And while some experts are predicting a similar type crash, the dynamics now are much different. See, back in 2007, there were 4 million homes for sale versus 1.22 million today. And back then, builders were putting up a record number of homes while the demand was falling. Today, demand is waning, but builders learned their lesson and single family starts are now down 22% plus permits are down 21%. Additionally, in 2008, the average equity in homes was 19% versus 58% today. Full disclosure, I'm not an economist, nor do I have a crystal ball. Sure, the bottom could fall out of the housing market if the economy worsens and unemployment shoots through the roof. And while it could happen, here's the data we found out today and what's coming up in the days ahead that will tell the real story of the housing market. Yesterday, St. Louis Fed Chair James Bullard said that the Fed has a ways to go to get restrictive and he thinks the Fed should raise rates to at least five and a quarter percent, which is a lot different than the seven percent he mentioned previously. Are you aware of what is happening in China? CNBC Peter Bukvar believes that the protest in China could be the beginning of the end of harsh corona lockdowns there in China. What would the rest of the world look like if the Chinese economy reopens fully for the first time since 2019? So here's the housing market news that you've been waiting for. The National Case-Shiller Home Price Index, which is considered the gold standard for appreciation, showed home prices fell 1% in September, but they increased 10% year over year, which is a decline from the previous reading of 13% in August. Home prices are now down 2.5% from the peak, a far cry from a housing crash of 20 to 30%. To be clear, I do anticipate additional softening in the housing market as the full impact of peak rates 
was not felt in September's numbers. The 10 city and 20 city were down 1.4% and 1.5% respectively, meaning that a lot of those losses were concentrated in the bigger cities that were somewhat overheated, including Seattle, Denver, San Diego, San Francisco, and LA. These decreases were milder than the previous report. The FHFA or Federal Housing Finance Agency released their house price index, which measures home price appreciation on single family homes with conforming loan amounts. This report is different than the case shiller as it does not include cash buyers or jumbo loans. The FHFA or Federal Housing Finance Agency released their house price index, which measures home price appreciation on single family homes with conforming loan amounts. Now this report is different than the case shiller as it does not include cash buyers or jumbo loans. The FHFA reported that prices rose 0.1% in September and are up 11% year over year. And based on this data, you can see that the decline in the case shillers is coming from higher priced homes where there is less demand. What are your thoughts? Do you see a decline in home values coming or is this just more media fear porn? Here's what you need to know this week. Today we saw the Case Schiller Home Price Index and the FHFA House Price Index. This shows that the bottom is not falling out as the media is telling you. Tomorrow on Wednesday, we received the ADP Employment Report and Pending Home Sales Reports. This gives us an idea of the economy and job market, plus an idea of what potential seller sentiment is. Thursday is the personal consumption expenditures, and on Friday is the BLS jobs reports. All of these reports will go into the Fed's upcoming meeting December 13th and 14th, where they are expected to raise rates another one half of a percent. We expect Thursday to be another good day for the bond markets as we anticipate that the PCE report to show lower appreciation, much like we saw in the CPI report back on November 10th. As inflation decreases, the Fed will begin slowing the rate increases and ultimately reverse course and lower rates. So to sum it all up in a taco shell, turn off the news, it isn't all bad out there. Who do you know that is looking to buy, sell, or refinance a home? Do me a favor, connect us together. My contact info is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and click that bell right there to get notified. And also share your thoughts in the comments. This is a community, we value your feedback. And if you want to know how the rising rates impacted the housing market, check out that video below. And we'll see you next time on Ask the lender.